money in his career earnings and look at this he's got a little pair of fives he likes it he's gonna make it well he's just gonna call play it slow full strategy adjustment from Toby there limping into the big blind of Dennis expecting there to be a flop but not wanting to get raised out if one of the short stacks behind him comes over the top Derek with King Jack on a call Mark with Jack Four suited in the small uh, surprised to see him fold there. And here's the wild card, our chip leader, Dennis, with queen nine. Oh, wow. And he is going to raise it, makes it 180. Toby's certainly getting the right price to see a flop here in position. Derek doesn't want anything to do with this. So heads up to the flop. Cincinnati kid versus the tax man. And the flop is an 8-3 deuce, two hearts. It's a good looking flop when you're holding pocket fives with the five of hearts. But Dennis did raise before the flop and he's going to continue to bet 260. Dennis does not down bet, by which I mean reducing the size of his bet on the flop. He goes 260. A little more old school there. Toby makes his call. And we see a 10 of clubs turn. That's going to give Dennis some outs. He doesn't even think about outs. He just keeps betting, pummeling away. And again, he gets the chips out, and he's betting 360. Yeah, it's a little bit small here with the second barrel. He's bet about one-third pot on a board that contains a lot of draws. So it's hard to imagine that Toby would fold showdown value or a draw to that sizing. A tax man from England is going to call this going to the river. That's that look where he's saying, I think I just blew it. River card. Dennis doesn't get there as a king hits. So the King of Diamonds isn't a crazy card for Dennis to bluff, but it's important to note that most draws have missed here. Queen, Jack, Jack, Nine, Seven, Nine, all the clubs, all the hearts, the little raggedy aces, everything has missed. And as the action clock ticks away, you can see Dennis contemplating, should I bluff here with my queen high or should I give up? Well, it's gonna take some more time. And he is the VP of Finance. So he knows about money. He's thinking to himself, can I bet some big money in here and try to steal this pot? And that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to bet 785. Half pot here. Still a tough call to make with these fives. Definitely not an easy call, but Toby uh -oh. reaching for chips. Oh, oh no! Whoa! Nice call.